hello friends welcome to communication skills for everyone if you are watching this channel first time please subscribe so today let us learn the summary of karma by kushwan singh let's begin with uh, about the author kushwan singh is a prominent indian novelist and journalist so he was born on 2nd february 1915 at hadali which is now in pakistan so kushwan singh completed his bachelor's degree in the government college lahore which was in pakistan now and thereafter he went to london to study law in king's college is significant he is a significant uh, post colonial writer right is a post colonial writer and kushwan singh is known for his clear cut uh, secularism and uh, his humor so he was awarded with the most prestigious awards of uh, indian such as uh, Padma, Padma Bhushan and Padma Vibhushan. He was the editor of several journals and newspapers, including uh, the Illustrated Weekly and uh, Hindustan Times. He was also a member of Rajya Sabha from 1980 to 1986. So, some of the important novels written by him are Train to Pakistan, I Shall Not Hear the Night Angle, and Delhi. So, a novel. His autobiography, Truth, Love and a Little Malice, this records his views on sex, wine and women, on life, religion and country. So he passed away in the year 2014. So the introduction, uh, Kushal Singh's short stories are mostly set in Indian atmosphere, right? We know that it is in an Indian atmosphere. They are both humorous and ironical. That's what uh, is very popular for that. The story Karma. This story Karma is based on the Indian philosophy. Indian philosophy that out action decide our fate. Our fate. So the proud aristocrat Sir Mohanlal. So Sir Mohanlal was waiting in the first class uh, retiring room at the railway station. He looked uh, handsome in his western dress. Why he wears western dress? He disliked uh, speaking his mother tongue, Hindustani. So Mohanlal uh, spoke English like Oxford scholars. So he felt very proud about himself and looked down at his wife, other Indians who did not know to speak English like him. Outside the waiting room, his wife, uh, Lashmi, was sitting on a steel trunk. She was wearing a dirty white sari with a red border. She was a typical native woman. Lashmi called a coolie to carry her luggage. The coolie asked her whether she was traveling alone. Lashmi said that her husband, who was a barrister, was also traveling in the same train. He always traveled in first class compartment so that he could meet many Englishmen in the train. She said, uh, that she could not talk English one more thing and she had to travel in the ladies compartment so this is also one more reason as soon as the train arrived Lashmi managed to find a seat in the ladies compartment that is one reason maybe that uh, and uh, Mohanlal's uh, imitation of English manners right the arrival of the train did not disturb Mohanlal so he thought that excitement and hurry were the marks of ill breeding he got to you and moved into his first class compartment without any hurry or excitement this is also one excitement he sat by the window and took out a copy of the times is uh, blue time the times scotch and the english cigarettes were proofs of his western style so this is uh, just to exhibit show up put off somehow he's, uh, he's from Western or something like that. He, he wanted to create it. He could never forget the glorious life that he had lived in England for five years when he was doing a barrister. At that time, he lead uh, life in England. So the same thing he is uh, trying to exhibit in the off. Right? This is also one. And uh, he criticized. He made his... Uh, uh, this made his to dislike his own country people because he... Uh, accustomed to Western culture, Western Western uh, uh, style. That's what he doesn't like it. Attitudes of his fellow men, fellow men here Indians, thinking that they are illiterate. He has an assumption that all Indians are illiterate, and uh, this is also one reason. And arrival of Englishmen and lords excitement. Now Mohanlal, 
felt lonely in the compartment because there is no one suddenly he saw two english soldiers on the platform looking into the compartment for space mohanlal mohanlal was very happy enough to invite them though they are reserved in the second class compartment mohanlal wanted to have conversation with them during the journey the fate of sir mohanlal the drunken soldiers right here the soldiers were drunken like bill and uh, jim they entered into the first class compartment sir mohanlal was happy to invite them because they thought that uh, they are in a normal state but they showed no respect for mohanlal because mohanlal is an indian right here just look at that uh, contrary right when when he he was looking his fellow people fellow men right all the other indians like in different villi but here the soldiers they are treating him they are, there is no respect to him because he is an indian that's also one reason on the other hand right so here we can look at mohanlal protested and argued right in this way they shouted at him and ordered him to get out of the compartment right so he invited them and they came in and they started shouting oh hey, just leave the apartment and the soldiers did not bother about uh, his uh, refined english and started throwing mohanlal's luggage on the platform and finally they pushed mohanlal out of the compartment right it's uh, what uh, he, something he expected but contrary something happened and he was on the platform mohanlal fell on the platform and could not do anything against the soldier so here he is helpless <coughs> however his wife lashmi without knowing all these things comfortably sitting in the ladies unreserved compartment chewing uh, chewed betel leaves right in old in these uh, people used to have this betel leaves and uh, spat the saliva through the window right so when she was doing that simply unconsciously maybe she thrown it uh, out and this bill and jim they she doesn't uh, aware of it and the proud mohanlal did not give respect to his wife and in turn he was not not respected by the british soldiers just look at here so uh, he doesn't like his wife and uh, just uh, he treated his wife like an illiterate and he started giving no respect to his wife but what happened the same thing uh, came back to him in the way right if you give respect so you will get the respect the same idea here also happened so according to indian philosophy it is sir mohanlal's karma right we say that uh, generally say it's his karma right and similarly here also sir mohanlal's karma which was back to him and brought him shame and insult with this uh, it ends right?